Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is our 14th video for Django e-commerce website. And in this video, we will implement the search functionality in our e-commerce shop. Okay, so we will add the search form in our header and we will perform the search functionality. When we will, uh, we will search any keyword, then it will redirect on the search page and it will show the related data. So let's start to do this. So the first thing we need to do, we need to add a form on the header. So we will open our base.html file. And in this, I will add the search form before the, before the menu. Okay. So I will also op open the getbootstrap.com. Here we will, uh, here we will copy the form element. So I'll go to the four bootstrap four because I am using bootstrap four in this project. And here we will open the nav bar. <coughs> and from the nav bar, I will copy the form. I will copy the form here. Okay. And I'll paste it before the UL. So this is the form. If I'll refresh this, then it will show the form here. Now I will also add this, add this button as an input group. Okay. So let's see what is input group. So this is the input group. So I want to show the, this kind of styling. Okay. So this is the search and this is the button. So I'll copy this. I'll copy this div and paste in the form. Okay, so here I will remove the margin bottom class. Okay, so this will like this. Okay, and I'll add the placeholder search and I will remove the area label. Okay, and this will be a submit button and I will add the form action as a as a root. Okay, so this is our form action. And here I will add the search and this will be our dark button. Okay. So this styling will be look like this. Okay. Now if, if we search this, then it will show nothing because we have to name it this input type. So I will name it. Q. Query. Q, Q means query. So I will, if I will search this, then it will show the Q here. You can see here. It will show the index page and with the uh, query string url query string but i want to search i will create the uh, i will create the different search page and i will show the search re uh, related result on that page so i will add here search okay so we will create the url we will create the view for this and we will show the search data okay so we will see how we can do this so if i go to this then it will search the it will go to the search but it is showing nothing because we haven't not created the search page here. So now we will open our views.py file. Here we will open the views.py file. And in this, I will copy the code of home page and paste here. And this will be our search functionality. Okay. And I'll remove the banner. So our query string will be come in the queue, and it will come from the uh, it will come from the request get, and this will be our queue. Okay. So now our search search keyword is is in the queue variable. Now we don't need the is featured. We just need the we will search in the title. So I contains. So this will this will create the query for the like result okay title okay if you want to add more uh, if you want to add uh, if you want to search in another column then you can uh, implement here comma separated okay so it will imp it will search from the other columns also but remember that if you add the comma then it will search the result with the end condition okay <clears throat> so this will i am searching in the title i am searching the product from the title 
okay so i will remove this banner and i will load the search.html so i need to create the search.html so i will open the index.html and i'll copy this and create a new file search.html and i will remove the i will remove the slider part because we don't need the slider in the search page okay so this will be your search and our heading is search result for request dot get dot q if you want to show the url parameter value in the template then you can show the value by this code okay we are directly fetching the url parameter value in the template okay so i will make this text <coughs> make this text as light because i want to highlight the search query so this will be our class text muted okay so this will show the this will uh, this will light this will make the color light of this search result for string and this will be as it is so now if we refresh this okay we need to create a url for this so i will go to the url.py file and here i will copy this home and paste it here i will add this search search and search and the view is search okay so everything is fine now so we'll refresh this <coughs> so it is it is saying that search result for asds something is okay so now we'll go to the go to the home page and if i'll if i'll search the product then it will show it is showing the two product if i'll search the product one then it will show the product one if i'll search the tupper it is show the tupperware bottle because we have a tupperware bottle but i am not selected this tupperware bottle for feature product so that it is not showing in the uh, home page feature featured section but if you go to the all product section then it will show the tupperware bottle okay so i will copy this if you search the bottle only then it will also show the result so here i have implemented the search functionality so with the help of this uh, with the help of this small effort you can create the search functionality okay so uh, also we need to remove this all product instead of this all product we will implement the pagination okay so we will uh, we will <coughs> cover the pagination in our in in our upcoming video uh, we need we will Im implement both the type of pagination we will implement the uh, redirect pagination like we will real uh, we will implement the pagination one two three and we will also implement the ajax pagination in our all product list section okay so we will do we will do the things step by step okay so i hope you are understanding very clearly everything if you have any doubt or any question any query regarding this video or regarding this uh, project then please add in the comment section and please add your thoughts about this project in the comment section okay so <clears throat> i have uh, implemented the search functionality yeah okay so thanks for watching this video thank you so much and if you have not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe and please like the video share the video okay so thank you thank you so much